An athlete of the week is someone that personifies excellence on the field of play, but it's not all about greatness. Sometimes it's about leadership and the desire to be different. The Harrison County lacrosse team personifies just that, a desire to carry the torch for a new sport right here in Clarksburg. Major League Baseball's opening day means much more than just baseball. It also means spring is on its way. Meanwhile, Pirates fans are hoping their team can match those warmer temperatures all the way into another postseason run. Reporting from PNC Park here in Pittsburgh, I'm Matt Hawsworth. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Glenville alongside Andrew Clay. I am Matt Hawsworth. You know, there are some basketball arenas, and then there's the Waco Center behind us. This place is unbelievable. We call them student athletes for a reason. Nobody exemplifies that term more than Chris Petrucci. The Notre Dame High School senior carries a 4.6 GPA and plays three sports on top of it. He's a clear-cut representation of what it means to be a 12 Sports Athlete of the Week. Good evening. Welcome inside the 12 Sports Zone. I'm Matt Hosworth alongside Andrew Clay. We are live for the ribbon-cutting ceremony here at Glenville State College for the brand-new Waco Center. And, Andrew, this place is beyond phenomenal. It is state-of-the-art. West Virginia Wesleyan softball and Steve Warner. You cannot think of one without the other coming to mind. Warner has been Wesleyan's head coach since 1992. His players, the amount of wins, even the jerseys, they all change except his love for coaching softball. Enjoying a softball game here at West Virginia Wesleyan College has become a whole lot better thanks to the addition of these brand new bleachers. It was a gift courtesy of a Wesleyan alumnus by the name of Marvin Culpepper, an addition that quite honestly has been long overdue for a program that continues to win games. Why do we love football so much? Is it for the earth-shaking hits, the long touchdown passes, or maybe the tailgating in the parking lot? Don, that's your favorite. I know it is. The point is, it doesn't matter why you love the sport. The fact of the matter is that we cannot get enough of it. Are you ready for some football? We've got two spring games tonight, and we will start in Fairmont. Rain showers seem to be baseball's worst nightmare. The sport simply cannot be played when it's too wet outside. The showers canceled many high school and college games today. It even delayed tonight's Pittsburgh Pirates game, but they still managed to play. To PNC Park we go. The Pirates were hosting the St. Louis Cardinals tonight, the same Cardinals team that knocked Pittsburgh out of the playoffs last year. Pedro Alvarez had himself quite a game. Here he takes Shelby Miller opposite field. That's a solo home run, and Pittsburgh took the 1-0 lead just like that. I told you Alvarez had a big night, and this is why. One inning later, and Pedro says, hey, let's do it all over again. This one bounces over the seats in center field and possibly into the Allegheny River, I would say. It was 2-0 at that point in the game. Uh, Travis Ishikawa is new to the Pirates this season. Ishikawa is simply another word for home run. The Pirates were digging the long ball tonight. Three to nothing Buckos in the fourth inning. <laughs> Life's hardships come and go, but a community's willpower remains the same. Sydney Rush may be gone, but she is certainly not forgotten at Clay Battelle High School. She was extremely energetic. She always had a smile on her face and she was always doing something crazy or goofy, but she had a heart of gold. She could make you laugh uh, doing ordinary things, but uh, she also had the uh, fire to compete very, very, very hard. Every time she wanted to step on this track, she was a competitor, and she just brought people together. Sydney was involved in a single vehicle accident during September of 2013, resulting in a loss greater than words can express. But through the community's efforts, her life continues to be celebrated. A total of 13 high school track and field programs gathered in Blacksville on Saturday for the inaugural Rush Invitational, proving that life is much more valuable than sports. Well, it was kind of just a community thing. Uh, the Track coaches got together, kids got together. Sid was just a really special uh, person for us all, so it was kind of easy decision to have a track meet to honor. We've all just become a huge family. Uh, we were before. We have extra, uh, become extremely closer since losing Sydney, and so we all just decided that this would be a great tribute to her. Rush was a crucial part of the Clay Battelle 4x200 Relay State Championship team last year, an element that is clearly missed even seven months after her death. It was one of the worst things we've ever gone through out here. It, 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 I mean, it's still one of the toughest seasons. Just working our way through it is, is a difficult thing. But that being said, this community does well sticking together, pulling together, and just remembering you know, she's just a special, special athlete and special, special girl. 
it's great knowing that I'm going to be running the 4x2 today and knowing that she's going to be watching over us. And I also know that she's going to be supporting us no matter what because she's never too far away. Saturday's Invitational served as a tribute to her life, a life that came to an end much too soon. Reporting in Blacksville, I'm Matt Hawsworth for 12 Sports. College football players are mostly viewed as hard-nosed, tough individuals, but they do have a softer side. What do you want? You want a T-shirt? Coming up here and you know making a difference in the kid's life, and that, it makes a big difference. Just and it's cool for us that something as little as just you know signing an autograph, giving a paper, or just playing a game with them. They really enjoy it, and it makes a big difference. It's good to see a smile on their face. The most important thing is making a difference in every day, and just being a part of this team. Something that we take pride in is making a difference in everybody's life, especially around the community and local area. Glenville State football coaches and players spent Wednesday evening visiting with patients at the WVU Children's Hospital. Resulting in smiles from ear to ear. Uh huh. There you go. That looks good right there. You know, it speaks volumes. It says that we're not we're not just at college athletes. You know, we're actually people who want to give back and be in the community and you know take part in changing things for the better. It's just awesome just to be able to give back and uh, just make a a positive impact in some of these kids' lives and make a memory and a difference. Pioneer coaches credit a very special school bus driver for the idea. An idea that they say will become a routine trip for years to come. Well, Coach Hutch had uh, approached me about a month ago. This hospital uh, is very dear to her heart as she went through a tragedy. I lost my granddaughter. Um, she was up here at, at the hospital in Morgantown, and then they flew her on to Pittsburgh. Um, she passed away. Um, we buried her on December the 1st. She had whooping cough. She just asked me if we'd be interested in bringing some guys up here, and I saw, I, I thought, what an awesome idea. And I told him um, that we should, if the boys would like to do an activity where we could give back to the hospital, we should come up here. And we're hoping that this could turn into something where we come up with a group uh, once a month or uh, something that, you know, it'll be a great event for the kids and uh, something we can con to build on. Golf can be an extremely frustrating sport. We have all been there, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. Of course, that is much easier said than done. Thankfully, though, we've got our friends here at Golf USA to show us the way. Let's check out what they have to offer. Welcome to Golf USA. Uh, my name's Phil Christopher. Golf USA, this is Phil. I've uh, been owner operator here for the past 20 years. In fact, we just had our 20th year anniversary. Anxious to get uh, get on with a good golf season, and uh, we have many things to offer here at the shop. Among those many things is a golf simulator, along with a workshop to repair clubs. They can also tailor fit your clubs for a specific size. Essentially, Golf USA is your one-stop shop for your next round. We probably do 85 or 90 percent of our iron sets are custom fit. We do anything from length adjustments, grip size adjustments, shaft flex, lie angle. Uh, we can also get a little bit more detailed and get uh, the three best golf shafts that work for your swing. But if you're not into all of that quite yet, they also offer plenty for an amateur hitting the links for the very first time. We kind of try to cover beginners to advanced players. Uh, we have beginner sets, I mean, starting at like 199. So you can get into the game uh, without a big investment if you want to. Professionals make the game look easy. Take Bubba Watson, for example, the winner of last week's Masters Tournament. But let's face it, most of us will never reach that level of golf, which begs the question Can you help me play better? That's the answer all of us would like to hear. So, can you? I think we can do that uh, via trying to get them in the right equipment. A lower handicap player will have to maybe look at a different set of irons than what a beginner would. The advanced player likes to work the ball left and right a little bit, uh, where the beginner just wants to hit it straight or, or just hit it. When it comes down to it, Phil has one piece of advice for all of us embarking on a new golf season. What I always like to tell the customer is we want to eliminate as many variables in your golf game as we can. So if we can make sure that your iron set fits you right uh, via all those adjustments, then whenever you go out to play, you can't blame your clubs. Then you, you kind of want to work on your swing and, and uh, get that groove. The great thing about the game of golf is that really you can play at any age. With a pit stop here at Golf USA, you will be well on your way to an even better 2014 season. Reporting here in Morgantown, I'm Matt Hosmer for 12 Sports.